Did you know that motivation channels just like this one or this one or this one are making over $10,000 a month without having to show their faces or use their own voices? And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step on how you can use the latest AI technology and easy to use tools. That way you can create your own motivation channel. And all I ask is that you watch through the entire video. That way you don't miss any of the important steps that I'm gonna be covering. The first thing that we need to do is do some market research to find out what are some of the top performing videos because we want to model what already works. So in YouTube, just type in the search bar, motivational speech, and then click this little icon on the top left called filters, then click on view count. We just wanna sort by how many views these videos are getting. As we can see, we have this video, it's created 10 years ago, 81 million views. This one's four years ago, 63 million views. I'm just going to look and start to see what are some of the top performing videos getting for views. We can see here, this one's still creating content and some of his most popular videos, 63 million, 16 million. So this is a good channel. We'll go down. We can see this one here. This one has videos that they're still making 12 hours ago, three days ago. There's most popular videos, 53 million, 8 million. These are really good channels uh, such as this one. This one's one day ago, 50K views. Most popular videos, 35 million, three years ago. So when doing market research, you want to see some of the newer videos, some of the more relevant videos that are still being actively posted because that lets us know that this is still a profitable business, that they are still producing this type of content. Now, looking at this channel, for example, we see a speech by Denzel Washington. So I'm going to click on this one. As we can see here, this is what the video is like. It's just Denzel Washington talking, and then there's some B-roll in the background and some text on the screen. Now, channels like this are able to use these speeches because it falls underneath fair use. So online, whenever you see channels that are re-uploading content and modifying it, maybe they're adding some visuals, they're adding some text, they're able to do that because they're putting their own creative work on the video, even though somebody else has maybe made the video because they are adding a touch. So like reaction channels are able to react to other videos because they are adding their own creative element and that falls underneath fair use. These motivational channels are doing the same thing where they're finding speeches that are publicly available online that have been recorded and they're not just re-uploading what has already been done. You won't find these motivational channels just re-uploading somebody else's content. No, what they're doing is they're taking it and then they're taking the audio and then adding on these extra elements like captions, like B-roll. Maybe they're splicing the audio and adding in different motivational speakers doing like a compilation video. You can see in this video though, it's just Denzel Washington and they give him credit, speech by Denzel Washington. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on share. We're going to copy this and look up YouTube video to MP3. Click on whichever link for downloading the video. I'm gonna paste my video here, MP3 convert. And now it's going to extract the audio from the video. Now, now, there's still another step that we need to do, which is to extract the speech from the music. We don't want to use the music from the video because again, that is taking something that is somebody else's and we want to create our own original piece using our own music. So we're just going to download the MP3. And once that downloads, we're going to go to this website called lolall.ai. So what this AI tool does is that it extracts the vocals from the music. What we can do is we can upload our audio and it will automatically extract the vocals from the music. So once it's rendered, you can see the preview and we can click on this I found that nothing in life and is there is no music unless you take risks playing and then we click on this and there's the music without the vocals which is pretty cool we're just going to press process the entire file and we're going to let the ai tool do its magic and for lol La La ai if you could use my link in the description it comes at no additional cost to you and it does greatly help support the channel the next tool that we're going to be using is in video and the reason why we want to use in video is because it makes editing videos very easy and what's really nice about it is it has a stock library so instead of having to subscribe to let's say story blocks or envato elements so we're going to be able to get our b-roll we're going to be able to get our music and we can also do captions plus if we want to turn our videos into short form content, we can do that from NVIDIA very easily as well. No techie experience required with this tool. I'd greatly appreciate it if you use my link in the description. It comes at no cost to you and it helps support the channel. So once you create your account, you're going to go to create new and then editor. And then we are going to click on landscape mode. You can see here we have some of the different versions for, let's say, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels. But we're going to click on landscape because we're going to be doing a long form video right now. And then I'll show you how easy it is to make a short form video. Now we're going 
going to take our MP3 and we're going to drag it into there. Once our audio is uploaded, we can just take it, drag it down to the timeline here, and then we can see that the audio has now been uploaded. Let's just click. You will fail at some point in your life, except you will lose. You will embarrass yourself. So there we go. We have the audio without the video. And as you can see, there's a bit of dead space there. I'm just going to click this and drag and just go like that. You can see how easy it is to edit because I have the sound bar down here. I just saw a little gap, so I cut that out. If I wanted to pull it back, I could just go like that. And now we have just a little bit of a buffer. Click on this and then maybe that's a little bit too long, a couple seconds too long. I might just go like that. All right, so this is where the magic happens. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look up some music. So I'm just going to look up motivational and this is going to be really good quality music that you could find on other sites like Envato Elements or Storyblocks. All right, so that sounds pretty motivational to me. So I'm just going to click that and we're going to drag it down to the timeline. So let's just give it a little test now. It's worthwhile unless you take risks. No. All right, that sounds pretty good so far. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust the volume on this one and let's increase the volume a little bit. Nelson Mandela said there is no passion to be found playing small. Now we're going to go to video and this is going to be really cool. We're going to put in some video to match what the audio is saying. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile. I'm just going to do, let's say sunrise. All right. So I just put in sunrise and we're going to click on this and you can see this video comes from Shutterstock. Shutterstock, you'd have to pay for this video, but because you're using a video, you're going to get this video for free. I just added that on and then we can give it a little test. I found that nothing in life it's worthwhile unless you take risks. All right, so I like that. And I'll just put in rock climbing. I'll add this one that this one's coming from Getty Images. Again, we'd have to pay for this, but we get it for free. I'm just going to review says, this. There is no passion to be found. All right, so you can see the video is a little bit small. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to click the video and drag it to the bottom there. Now we've got a full video and I didn't like how that transition was right there. So there, there was a little no bit of a hard transition. Found. What we're going to do is I'm going to click on this. We're going to click on animation. And then you can see here it says in and out. I'm going to do fade out and I'm just going to bump this up to, let's say, three seconds. And then this one, I'm going to click on this video, click on animation and then fade in. We're going to do fade in and I'm just going to bump that out to three seconds. So now we're going to have a little nice animation that we can include. Nelson Mandela said there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable. So this is looking really good. And obviously I could go in, I could add as much B-roll as I want. I could even add some text in. We can click on text. So it's got some different styles and typography. So if we wanted to go for a specific type of aesthetic, we could do that. If we wanted to add typography, we could do that. And let's say I just really like this one. So I'm gonna click on that and then it's going to add it to the video. And then I can just go in and I can edit this text to be whatever I want. You know, we can listen to the video and then add the text. Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and So you can edit the text however you want. If you wanted to leave it just video, you could do that. If you wanted to add captions to what is being said, you could do that as well. And let's just say with this video, I, I think it's a little bit too overexposed. You know, it's a little bright over there. I can click on this and then I can adjust the colors as well. So now we can just go to white balance and maybe I'm just going to maybe make it a little bit more blue, make it a little darker. Let's say I want the tone. I want to drop the brightness a little bit, bump up the contrast, saturation. So I want it to be a little bit of a dark, you know, dark day that they're climbing up the mountain. Or if we wanted to add some different filters, we could do that as well, just to kind of get that aesthetic that we're looking for. I think that this looks pretty good. It's bright. And then there's the challenges. It's dark. They're climbing up in the morning. So I think this looks pretty good. So let's just say this video is good to go. What I can do now is if I wanted to, I could also create a short video just like that by clicking up here on this little top right. It's going to take our video and then turn it into a short form. So if you wanted to also upload these videos on TikTok, or Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, you could do that as well. Maybe you wanted to edit it so that it's less than 60 seconds, 15 seconds, however long. You could do that very easily from this player. And then right here, take risks. We can expand this, make this look bigger. Now we're going to have big text. Risks. Nothing. 
Nelson Mandela said. And just like that, we have our short form. We can then export it and then click export. And we have our fully finished video, our long form and our short form, just like that with some of the powers of AI tools. So now that you have your video, we're also going to need a thumbnail. And again, I'm just going to say model what already works. So now that we've exported our video, which is original content, we're now going to need to create a thumbnail. And if you're already doing your market research on the top channels, then you're probably going to figure out that there are a lot of similarities in how the thumbnails are presented because that's what people are looking for and that's what people are clicking on. So I'm on this channel, Motivation Hub, and I'm just looking through some of the different thumbnails. So again, we're going to model what works. I like this thumbnail, but maybe I want to create it in this style. What I'm going to do is we're going to copy the video and then we're going to go to YouTube and then we're just going to look up YouTube thumbnail download. I'm just going to click on this link, for example, paste our URL down there. And now we have a high quality thumbnail. I'm going to save this image and download it. Now, again, another free tool. We're going to go to remove background and we're going to click on whichever one and I'm going to upload our file. And now I want to remove the background from the thumbnail and I'm going to download that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Canva. So on Canva, you're going to go to create design and you're just going to type in YouTube thumbnail and then we're going to click on that. Now we have our photo of Denzel and this is again, this is going to be completely for free. So I just uploaded that thumbnail of Denzel Washington. This is a really good quality photo and I'm going to let's say make the background black. I want a black background with Denzel on it and I'm just looking at what this one and what some of them are kind of looking like. We could see maybe some flare color in the background and then some text. So I'm going to do something that is kind of like these with Denzel in it. Just going to go here and I'm going to go to the elements and I'm going to type in flare and we can see all the different graphics and then any of the ones that don't have this little crown means that these are free so we can use these however we want. Let's say I kind of like this one and I'm just going to right click send to back and we're going to make it a little bit bigger just like that. You can see how easy this is making it a little bigger and let's say I don't like the color. Maybe I maybe my channel is blue. So what I'm going to do is click on edit and then we are going to go down to duotone and then you can see now we can change the color to whatever we want. Maybe I want a blue color because that's my aesthetic and then I can click on this. I can change the color if I wanted to do a different type of blue or a gold or purple, whatever I wanted. I can have that color in there. I'm just going to do the blue for now because I like that. And then I'm going to click off and then we're going to do that. And just like that, we've got the blue in the back, got Denzel looking off and then he's going to be looking at some text. We click on text and maybe I want to have a specific type of font style. I can see these pretty normal font. So I'm just going to add a heading and then I can change the font to whatever I want. Let's just say we want to do this Montserrat and then see kind of what that is that they're putting on here. Why don't they teach this in every school? So from here, maybe I want to add some quotes from Denzel Washington. So I'm just going to go to ChatGPT and say, give me a list of quotes from Denzel Washington. So now ChatGPT is giving me a bunch of different quotes that I can use. That way I am able to create some original content as well. So I like this one. The only way to make change in the world is to make a little noise. It's short and sweet. So now I'm going to go back. I'm just going to paste that in. I'm going to take a look and see. So maybe we should add the quotes and then I might just change the topography because I'm not really liking this one too, too much. Something like that. If we wanted to add some extra images in the background, I can see some of these. They've got some different lights or some different stuff like that. We're going to go to Canva. We're going to look up mountain, let's say, and then we've got different photos. These are all free photos that we can use. So I'm just going to maybe put this in the back instead. And then I'm going to look up a square and then I'm just going to click on elements, I'm going to take this little square here and then I'm going to make this, let's say, black, make this fully large, just like that. And then we're going to change the opacity, make it a little bit darker and then send to the back. And if I wanted to make it a little bit like that around there. So I'm liking how this is turning out for something that was really quick. Obviously, I could spend a lot more time and try to critique and come up with the style, but this is something that I'm coming up with on the fly. So just like that, we've created an original piece of content for long form, for short form, and also a thumbnail. All of this using the power of AI and some free tools. If you like this video, then check out this video right here where I review some of the best AI tools on the market today.